Retro-inspired games have found their home in smartphone gaming for a number of reasons. They're visually simple and so cheaper to make, generally feature simple gameplay and mechanics, and can easily be played on a small screen. Yet, as Retro Shifter proves, these old style games are still every bit as fun and addictive to play as your big budget ones. Retro Shifter is an 8-bit style dystopian 2D auto runner. Players take control of a human running across an endless bridge in front of the backdrop of a futuristic city skyline. As they run though, they're confronted with laser barriers, one high, one low and another in between. In order to break through them, the player has to swipe up to make them jump high, right to make them leap in front and down to roll. Initially, all of the barriers are blue, but after the first round of jumping, the character is faced with green, red and then yellow lasers. To break through these, the player has to use a four coloured grid in the corner of the screen to correlate the character's colour with that of the barrier. Tap green and roll through a green barrier and you're fine. But jump towards a red barrier while using the blue and you'll lose a heart. The further the character runs, the more coins you accrue. These can be used to purchase single use power ups, upgrades such as increase in health and new outfits. As the game becomes faster, the further you progress, upgrades are an essential buy. Coins can also be purchased with actual money, but there are other ways of collecting them. As your character levels up, you're rewarded in-game currency, and bonuses are rewarded for correctly passing through barriers consistently. Retro Shifter is by far the best auto-running game to have been released in recent memory. Theoretically, it's an easy genre to master. They usually require just the swipe of a finger to play, and the settings usually remain the same as you progress. The best auto runners put more emphasis on features such as environment, upgrades and music though. All aspects that Retro Shifter gets spot on. Its futuristic setting is different and coupled with the 8-bit graphics make the game look great. There are enough power-ups, upgrades and new outfits to unlock to keep players entertained for weeks, if not months. Then the music, something reminiscent of Daft Punk's Tron soundtrack, adds to the sci-fi feel while increasing the feelings of tension and anxiety as the gameplay increases in speed. Together they make for a rushed but fun experience, exactly the kind to get your blood pumping while on the go. Auto runners have become stalwarts of the app industry, with even Nintendo attempting to have a slice of the action in Super Mario Run. It's hard to imagine exactly how far such games can go, considering their lack of complexity. Yet Retro Shifter shows that interesting changes can be made to the genre and that the simple style of game isn't dead just yet.